All right, guys, we're here today doing an unboxing of the Transscan C from Shining 3D. Now, this is a special scanner. It is a fixed scanner, so it's a little bit cheaper than most of the handheld ones out there, but it does come with a turntable. And what's different about this one, some of you may know about the 1.3 megapixel color resolution on the other handheld scanners. This baby right here has 12 megapixels. So if you're doing augmented reality and want high resolution textures, or maybe you're doing digitalization or, or different things that require better color resolution on your actual 3D scanned models, then this thing is for you. It's, it's amazing. Now, it does use a automated turntable, which is great, makes the automated scanning just so much easier than doing everything by hand, and it can do bigger parts. Now, it's also for engineering purposes because it has very high accuracy and very high point distance or resolution. So uh, it's actually higher resolution than the Einscan HX with those blue lasers. So if you're doing really, really accurate scans uh, and you want full color and automated turntable, then this puppy is for you. Now today we're just gonna do a quick unboxing to show you what comes in the package. And that's actually one thing I love about Shining 3D is the quality of their packaging. As you can see, it's in this big nylon encased, hard cased, hard shell case. And this thing actually arrived at our office with a bag tag from an airline. So uh, our buddy Eric came down from Shining 3D to show us some more stuff and just share some things and teach us more about all the software that we use like Geomagic. So if you're considering a red bundle, a uh, lot more content coming on that very soon. So make sure you're subscribed. But he trusted this scanner in this box that it came with uh, being hucked around by the guys in the airline. So it's a testament to how well they package their stuff. Now, instead of me just talking about it, let's actually check it out and I'll show you what comes in the package. So I'll just unzip it all the way around here as I sling it around the table. All right. And then uh, in here. So first thing you notice is this foam part actually sticks to the top and inside you've got this crazy industrial looking scanner. Now this thing looks like scanners that cost 50, 60 grand and go on giant rigs and everything, but it's much, much more affordable than that. Check out visionminer.com slash 3D scanners or slash scanners and uh, you can see all the pricing and everything. We don't like putting it in videos because it may change. Uh, and this video, well, it lasts forever. So right here, we've got the actual main scanner unit with uh, the projector in the, oh dude, this thing, it's like billet aluminum. It's probably 10 to 12 pounds. Feels really sturdy, looks industrial, looks really, really nice. Uh, and in the center here, you've got the projector and on the two sides, you've got the 12 megapixel cameras, uh, all with lens caps and everything as well, of course. Now you'll notice these markings in the front, you've got 150 and 300. These are more about the working distance. So if you're working with things closer up, you'll want them at the 150, a little bit further away, you wanna widen those lenses out so that you get a wider picture of objects a little further away. So I'm just gonna set this thing right here. Oh, it is beautiful. It just, it feels, I mean, it's almost like, like handling a red camera back in the day, you know, just really, really nice. Now, of course it comes with your cables here, uh, different, different plugs and a little thumb drive over here which comes with some software and some licensing stuff on it. So I'll go ahead and put these back here. Now it does come with a tripod and this is like a full size tripod so this thing comes out. It's all marked shining 3D. Beautiful. Oop. Okay so in here uh, these are the little spikes for the bottom of the feet. So you happen to be doing scans outside or something. This does have a fixed scan mode. So you can do inanimate objects as well as using the automated turntable. And then it comes with this full size gigantic tripod. If you've seen our uh, uh, Einscan Pro HD boxing with the industrial pack and that turntable setup, definitely not as beefy of a tripod. This thing is designed for bigger stuff and just wow. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Oh, this is sweet. This is high quality. Yeah. I mean, it's probably not Manfrotto, but like this is pretty darn good. Now, it feels solid. Feels good. I like it. Oh, I'll put that right there. Okay. Now, next, I'll just keep getting into this box here. Comes with another layer. And then up here, of course, you have 
Um, every scanner from Shining 3D comes with an activated version of uh, Solid Edge, which is the Siemens brand of CAD program. So if you buy a scanner, you get a full-fledged CAD modeling program with it. And this is the Solid Edge Shining 3D edition. Every scanner on the website uh, that we sell at visualminder.com comes with that. So you won't be out a CAD program. Uh, now there's also the red bundle, which has like Geomagic Essentials, which is for reverse engineering and, you know, creating native shapes to then take into your CAD programs. But that's a story for another time. We got some videos on that as well. And of course the packing list in here, the first thing you'll notice is this interesting looking calibration pad. Now, based on the distance that you're using, you're going to use a different side of this pad. It actually has two different ones. And then the software automatically walks you through how to actually use this in practice. That's pretty cool. And then of course in here, we've got the calibration board, which is the standard Einscan style calibration board where you set this up and you scan it a couple times and it just calibrates, making sure that where it's putting the points are actually where the points are. Uh, so that's cool. If you wanna see a video of calibrating, we might have that up on this already. Otherwise, it's similar to the Einscan HX and the Pro HD and those calibration processes. So I'll put that right there. And then down here, we've got another calibration board. So you've got two calibration boards, one for the 150 mode, one for the 300 mode. All right, and next we've got this beefy calibration board holder, uh, which just basically goes up like that. And then you put the calibration board on it. So it's at a specific angle in relation to the actual scanner. And then it scans it and does all its jazz. Now, uh, you're only actually gonna use that one little spot right there. Uh, they give you a lot of options, but that's the one to use. So that's pretty sweet. This beefy billet aluminum. No, it's probably cast aluminum, but aluminum nonetheless. Uh, and then in here, we've got sets of markers, which are obviously important. Now we've got ones for 150 range and ones for the 300 range. Uh, and then of course a power adapter. So these are actually to show you very similar to the Pro HD scanner markers. And they come on all these little packs. So, I mean, there's probably like 5,000 or so in here. These come with a lot of markers right out the gate. And we do sell those on the website as well if you need extras. Uh, we've got those. And then are they actually smaller? These ones, yeah, you can tell. These are much smaller for the 150 range. See the size difference there? Power adapter. All right, all good stuff. All right, now in the bottom down here, We've got the turntable. So I'm gonna pull this thing out. Well, first, you know, you've got the more power adapters for the turntable and a USB connector for the turntable. So I can just pull this puppy out right here. And very nice. Now, you will notice that the bottom of this is very similar to the Pro HD turntable, but it is a little bit bigger uh, I think, I mean, it's weird to look at, but it's got this big metal rubberized top on it. Now this is rubberized, so your stuff isn't gonna slip around, which is actually really nice. Um, the other one, we use a lot of work holding, like hot glue or different things, just to keep things in place. Uh, so this, you can also do that, but the rubber definitely helps keep stuff from shifting around. And it's a much bigger surface, so you can fit larger objects on it, and then depending where you place the actual scanner, uh, you can just get larger objects. Limit your scans to around the size of a basketball. You're not gonna be doing a full, you know, I don't know, a kid or something, or like maybe a, a fridge on this turntable. It's not gonna happen. Uh, but anything under, you know, around that size should be pretty good. Now, the turntable is huge. Um, you can just use the tripod and scan something, but the turntable allows you to get all these different angles and then it automatically aligns everything and you've got a full complete scan. And of course with this in full 12 megapixel color. Now, yes, yes, I know your phone is 30 megapixels or hundred megapixels or whatever they're doing now. But honestly, back in the day when they hit 12, uh, 12 to 20 is really like, it's super high res. It's, it's really, really good. If you're an artist or if you're making augmented reality sets or you're making 3D models to put into, I don't know, video games or anything and you want that high resolution color scanning, uh, this is a really, really good option for you. We're gonna have some more videos on this using it, demonstrating how it works and what the 
real difference is when it comes down to the color and the resolution and all that. Um, and gosh, this is a nice case. I almost like this better than the Pelican hard case the HX comes in. Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comment below. Uh, if uh, about the scanners, about the high temperature printers we sell, we've even got some selective laser sintering powder bed based printers coming, uh, as well as a bunch of other cool stuff in the additive manufacturing and 3D scanning realm. But let us know down below what you wanna find out and learn. We will be doing some videos on some super large scans and some super high resolution scans with both this unit and the HX and the HD and comparing all those in the future. So make sure you're subscribed. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hit that like button if you liked it and check out visionminder.com. If you're uh, trying to make money by 3D scanning or 3D printing, that's what we specialize in. We're serving businesses and we're here to help you. So give us a call if you've got some questions and we'll help you determine what the right machine or scanner or whatever is for your actual application. And if you don't need what we sell, we'll actually tell you straight up. But We've got a lot of options. We can help you make your business a reality and just make more money in general. So thank you so much for watching. Have a positive rest of your day and I'll see you on the next video.